So it looks like Coach Ducky wants Moonton to have a solo queue. And I mean, that sound kind of fire. If everybody got equal doodle on their team. I, hey, I would appreciate a solo, but I don't, I don't think they ever going to do it. I mean, people play the game too much now. As much like as much effort as that would take for them to do, I don't think it's worth it because people still play the game. And people are still going to play the game, even if you lose every single game because your teammates is doodle. Like, that's just, people. like, I don't think it's a priority for them to spend extra money to develop it. But let's see what he got to say. Well, anyway, so all I'm saying is, kidding aside, sobrang hirap mag-scout. Okay? Kaya nga, I was asking Munton for time, since time immemorial, please, go out in a solo queue. Wow. Because oh, solo, uh, solo, incentivize your solo queue. Mm -hmm. So that coaches have an easy time, you know, finding those diamonds in the rough. Yeah. Now. You know, have been trying for so long na mm -hmm. makapasong sa... This is actually a good approach. This is actually a good approach to that conversation because you're trying to find the talent that stands out, but literally, you could have the best player in the world, like literally the best player you've ever seen, but if he gets paired with four teammates depending on four bad teammates, depending on what role he plays, he could just as easily perform and look as bad as they do because his role could be dependent on how good the team is. And and that's the problem. Like, e even good team players, some players just tank for randoms all day long, and they just kept catch a lot of L's because they're tanking for randoms. But they could actually be a really strong tank where if they had a good team – they would be seen as a god. And, and that's the that's the hard part about not having a solo queue. So being able to sell Moonton on this, that that's actually a good idea because it makes sense for them to invest in this because they're going to make more money by them finding more pros and more top-level players in this way. Uh, sa pro scene. Uh, ano ba matas na rank ngayon na stars? 400 I, ba I don't really look at stars. Eh. I mean, like, kunwari, uh, ang gusto ko sabi sabihin, pag nag-reach ka ng 500 stars, puro solo na lang dapat. Uh, Parang ganun. Pwede ding ganun. Uh, I'm, sa, galing uh, sa simula na. Uh, Itong solo queue, solo queue. Oh, solo queue. Oh. Kasi kami, ni Yeb, do, hardcore Dota players kami before. Alam namin yung solo queue. And, you know, it has been a training ground, proving ground even, para dun sa mga up-and-coming players sa Dota. And, yeah. It has it has been the the staple sources of the most brilliant players talaga ng yeah. Dota. It never failed. Because hmm. you get to see what an actual individual is capable of solo queue. It's like you get paired with these trios who's really bad, these duos who's really bad. When you get when you get in the current the current range rank matchmaking people don't understand how bad it is like your friends and stuff like you'll laugh oh you went bronze this game let me check your history what what's been going on but the fact of the matter is it's really bad matchmaking it's really bad matchmaking and depending on your play style you could be used to just playing in a way where you're you're not trying to it's just it's, it's different mindsets and approaches to playing the game and no way is right or wrong it's just some people just look worse without with, with trash people surrounding them. Some people look better with, with a bunch of trash people surrounding them. It makes them look better. But a team player will probably look worse with a trash team around them, especially someone who focuses on the team and is very team-oriented. Now, these assassin players who's just out here slaying and going for kills, if their team is trash, they're going to stand out and look even more like a god. If, but but that doesn't make them the best player. Like the team player who looks worse could actually be a much better player than the player going out here slaying on assassins and looking like they're actually really really good. So that's the nuanced difference that a coach would be able to spot that maybe an average user wouldn't notice. An average user would instantly assume, oh that guy's MVP has a lot of kills. He must be the best player on that team. But a coach would be able to see, oh the tank did this, the tank did that. He was probably setting up and like. The, the coaches would be able to see that type of stuff. Uh, I think wala pa ata ang lol na ang solo queue din meron? up until this. May solo queue na din. Meron, meron, meron. Naka, um, ang pagkaka-experience sa akin magkaiba yung rank mo ng solo tsaka team duo. rank. Parang ano eh. Ganun din sa Dota eh. Mm, ganun din sa Dota eh. Ah, hindi na ngayon, coach. Hindi na ngayon? Hindi na, hindi na. <laughs> oh? Ang tanda mo na. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> wait. Hindi na, hindi na. Wait. Hindi na, hindi na. Tinanggal na nila yung rank oh, ng solo queue. Magkasama na siya? 
Ano, um, hindi, hindi na siya, ano, hindi na, isa na lang yung rank mo. Ha? Huh? Oh, gaka- so, pag nag-team play, tatlo tayo. Oh, kung ano yung rank ko? Ah, ganun. Oh. Let's go! Let's go! Makakahabot <laughs> na ata ako ng ano. Oh, kung ano yung rank mo ng, oh, oh isa lang rank, oh, nag, nag-rank ako, isa lang rank ko. Oh, isa lang rank ko. Isa lang. Talaga ba? Or magka-level lang yung rank mo? Hindi, hindi. Hindi. Mag- well, anyways, lang. anyway, yeah. All I'm saying is, uh, the most successful players ay nahanap nila yeah. dati through through solo rank. Yeah. So, I think, you know, <laughs> yeah. sana, mm. gawin din nila yun. Yeah. So, yeah, th- this was actually a really, really good, this was a really good video and a really good take, man. Um, I definitely believe that there should be a solo rank. Um. And I think a lot of strong and talented players would come from it. But, I mean, that's up to Moonton. They, I don't know if they'll do it, but it would be good. It would be a great moneymaker for them, actually. But I don't know if they see the vision. I don't know if they see it like that. They probably don't understand. They probably wouldn't understand that. But, like I said, I personally believe that Mobile Legends could be one of the most popular games in the world. It already is among the most popular games in the world. But, I mean, like, literally be up there on the status of League of Legends in terms of notoriety, in terms of popularity, all of that. But the problem is they they the experience is not good enough. Like the game is good, but the experience people have when they're playing the game is very bad. Like the reason it won't take off in North America, the North American matchmaking is horrible. Like I know that you may feel what's crazy is I was talking to one of my friends and he felt like people should be able to have eighty and ninety percent win rates. I'm like, bro, do you realize what that means if you got an eighty and ninety percent win rate? That means that you're getting unfair matchmaking the majority of the time. You're not that much better than who you're going against. The thing is, you're just getting paired up against people who are not on your level. Now, you can't argue that no one in the country is on your level. No, people in the country are on your level. It's just that you're not getting paired up against those people. You're getting paired up against other random bums. And it's it's like... Or you're getting bared up against people who who are may, maybe on your level, but then they have bum teammates because the matchmaking is just that bad. So the matchmaking is just very, very poor. And 80, 90% win rate, stuff like that shouldn't even be possible. The pros in League of Legends only got like 50% win rates. And that's because they actually get matched up against other players who play at the highest level in the game. That's what happens when you play against the highest level in the game. You you win some, you lose some. When you win, 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 you're not playing against the highest levels in the game. You're just pub stumping bums. That's not the same thing. And this is why, I think this is why North America suffers. Because when they go to the Philippines server, they be out there getting destroyed by regular players because they're so used to North America where you can have 80, 90% win rates because you're only crossing bums the entire time. But I digress. That's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know what you all think on this topic in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.